Let's make a stitch pattern. This is the ripple twist stitch. It's a knit and purl pattern, which is a easy level knit. It is just one step up from a beginner level knit. It is a combination of knits and purls, and it creates a unique basket weave pattern using twisted stitches. These twisted stitches are like mini cables that add a little flair to a plain weave. You do not need a cable needle, so it's really simple to do, even if you are a beginner launching into some newer, a little bit more complicated stitches that may look a little more complicated, but they're really super easy to do. Welcome to Good Knit Kisses. We're all about helping you stitch your love and love your stitches. To get the written pattern as well as information on the needles and the yarn used, please click on the video description in the link below uh, to get uh, to our blog. We also have a pattern for making this a full 12 by 12 square as well as a 7 by 9 and a 9 by 7 rectangle for making blankets for Warm Up America. Also included is a handy chart so you'll get the full written instructions and the chart. Be sure and click that link in the video description below. If you need the right or left-handed video, please click down below in the description and you'll see the links to the right and left-handed videos. If you are following the chart for right-handed knitters, you're just gonna follow it as is. If you are a left-handed knitter, you will need to start on the other side uh, from what my directions are showing. Uh, the written directions you can do exactly, but if you're looking at the chart, you need to work on the left hand, bottom left hand of the chart and work your way over for row one and right-handed knitters will start as usual on the bottom right hand side. To begin, you're going to want to cast on. Your multiple is a multiple of four and it's going to be an eight row repeat. This is the repeat right here. I actually have um, one, two, three, four repeats already worked. So go ahead and cast on your multiple of stitches and we will begin. This one is 36 for my sample. Row one of our ripple twist stitch, we're going to start off our first with one purl stitch and then we go into the beginning of our repeated section. So it is going to go like this. We're going to purl two times. So purl once, twice, okay? And now you are ready for your first twist. This is going to be a left twist. We're gonna put our yarn to the back because it's going to be worked as a knit stitch. And we're gonna be working with the next two stitches, okay? We're going to put your needle into the second stitch in the back. So we're gonna be knitting in the back loop of that second stitch. You just insert like that, and then yarn over your needle that's in the back, pull through, that brings up a loop, and now you're going to twist to the front and go into that very first stitch, just as you would for a regular knit stitch. Knit that stitch, pull up a loop, and drop both of them off your needle and you've done your first twist, then you're going to repeat that. You're going to purl two stitches and do another left twist. So let's do this again. Purl, one, two, and left twist. Put that yarn to the back, go into the back of the second stitch, knit, pull up a loop, go into the front, of the next stitch and you can put your finger on there to keep it from popping off. Go into that first stitch and just knit as usual. Pull up a loop and let those other two fall off. Okay, one more time. Purl, purl, then we're gonna twist, yarn to the back, into the second stitch, knit through the back loop. Don't let it drop off twist going into the front of the first stitch, knit, pull up a loop, and pull the other ones off. And that's it. So continue that repeat until you have three stitches remaining, and I will see you at the end of this row. See you soon. End of row one, we're going to purl the remaining stitches. So we just finished that left twist, put our yarn forward, and purl one, two, and three. Okay, turn your work over and we're going to begin row two. Let's knit the first three stitches and then we'll start our repeat. So we're knit one, two, and three. Okay, 
So now we're going to start repeating. We're going to purl the next two stitches and knit the next two. So you're going to be repeating those four stitches across. It's simply purl two, knit two. So purl two and knit two and repeat across. So all of the wrong side work is just knits and purls. There is no twisting on the wrong side and it's a um, version of knit two, purl two or purl two, knit two on the other rows. I will show you all of the wrong side rows and what you start and end with because they're all different. Uh, only one of them gets repeated. So continue repeating purl two, knit two across until you reach the last stitch and you're going to knit that. So pause your video and I'll meet you back for that last stitch. See you soon. End of row two, we're going to be knitting that last stitch as a reminder. Turn over your work and we're ready to begin row three. This row will have twists in it. Before we begin that row, go ahead now that you've got a couple of rows on yours. Now, of course, I have a lot more knitting, but uh, now that you have a few rows in, you could go ahead and put your stitch marker on the right side row. And you can use this for telling what place you are in, like which row count you are, and then you can just move this up. So this very first purl stitch here was my row one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place a stitch marker um, a few stitches in, maybe the third stitch, that very first purl bump that you see on the third stitch over, that is row one. So the knit stitch above is from your row two. All right, so now that you know where you are, let's begin row three, and it's going to begin with a knit one. And then we're going to be beginning our repeat, which is knit two, one, two, and then we're going to make a right twist. So we're twisting the next two stitches, a right twist. The way that you do that is you actually work into the second stitch first into the front of that stitch, knit it, pull up a loop, and then twist it and go into the first stitch, knit that stitch. And then we just pull them off of our needles. And that's it. You're going to repeat those four stitches. So you knit two, and then right twist, go into the second stitch into the front, pull up a loop and go into the front of the first stitch, knit that, pull up a loop and slide them off your needle. Continue repeating that all the way across until you have three stitches remaining. Pause your video and I will see you there. End of row three, you're simply going to knit the last remaining stitches. So knit one, two, and three. All right, now turn that over. We're gonna begin row four. Row four starts off with a purl three. So you just had those knit three here. Now you're doing a purl three. So it matches those purls from the other side. And then we'll go into our repeat. So purl one, two, and three. And now our repeat of knit two, purl two. So we're going to knit two, which is that twist, and purl two. So you're purling into your previous knits from the other row, and you're knitting into the twists from the previous row. Okay. So continue that repeat until you're at the end and you will have one stitch remaining and you're going to purl that one. So it will actually end up with uh, three purls at the end. Okay. All right. Pause your video. I'll meet you there. All right. We're at the end of row four. Go ahead and purl that last stitch. So the last three stitches are all purled. Go ahead and turn your work and let's begin row five. Row five starts with a purl one go ahead and do that and then we will start our repeat and this time we are repeating starting with the twist we're going to do the left twist so we did a right last time so we're doing a left so the twisted rows um, every other time it's a left or a right okay so uh, we're going to go into the back loop of the second stitch go back here knit that in the back loop pull up your loop go into the front knit that stitch 
pull them off. You've got your twist and then you're going to purl two. All right. So you're just going to continue those four stitches, uh, starting with that left twist, put your yarn to the back, put that yarn in the back of the second loop, pull up a stitch, go into the front of that first one, knit and pull up a stitch, let those drop off and purl twice. Okay, so you're just going to continue repeating that pattern and you will ha uh, go until you have one stitch remaining and it will be purled. Pause your video. I'll meet you at the end of that row. See you soon. Okay, I misspoke earlier. You're technically going to the last remaining three stitches. That's okay because you probably discovered the same thing. Oops, I have three stitches. You're actually going to twist these next two stitches and then uh, work the last one. So let's go ahead and do a left twist again. We're going to go into the back of that stitch and knit it and knit the front of the first stitch, knit it, drop it off, and finish with a purl one. And that's it. All right, so that was the end of row five. Turn your work over, and we're going to begin on the wrong side with row six. We're going to start off by knitting one, and then begin our repeat. We're going to purl two, and knit two, and repeat purl two, knit two across until you have uh, one remaining stitch and that will be a knit one. Pause your video, I'll meet you at the end of row six. See you soon. End of row six, go ahead and knit that last stitch remaining, turn your work over, and we're gonna begin row seven, and that starts with a knit one. And then we're going to switch back to the right twist and we'll begin with the twist at the beginning, just like we did when we did the row that it started um, that repeat the previous one. So we're going to do a right twist here. So we're going to go into the second stitch into the front, knit that stitch, twist and go into the front of the first stitch, knit and drop those off. And the next one is knit two. So we're going to knit two and then we're going to do a right twist and knit two again. Go into that second stitch, knit, go into the first stitch and knit, drop the old loops off and knit the next two stitches. This one goes to be, ends up being a fast row. So go ahead and repeat those. Uh, repeat until you have uh, three stitches remaining. Pause your video and I'll meet you there. Last three remaining stitches, you're going to twist. So we're doing a right twist in that second stitch, going into the first stitch, knitting that, slide those off and knit the remaining stitch. And we're gonna turn that over and begin row eight, which is the last row of our repeat. And we're gonna begin row eight with a knit three. So knit one, two, three. And then we're going to purl two. and knit two. So purl two, knit two across until you have one stitch remaining. So this is exactly like row two. Pause your video and I will meet you back for the end of this row. See you soon. And you're gonna go till your last uh, stitch. However, the last three stitches are all knit. So I'm ending my repeat with a knit two. And so the third stitch or last stitch is also a knit. Don't try and purl that one. All right. So turn that over. And that is your eight row repeat. So pretty. So I suggest when you knit to your lengths, you just continue working these uh, eight rows. And when you get to your desired length, uh, I suggest that you bind off in pattern on the wrong side row. And then you will have a beautiful piece that's nice and finished out. You don't need to bind off in pattern uh, on a twist. So bind off on the wrong side and you are good all day long. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, be sure and boop, hit that like button and comment down below. I love to hear from you. And if you'd like to show me your knits, I'd love to see them on Instagram. Just tag me at Good Knit Kisses. I hope to see you soon and happy knitting. Thanks for joining us today, where we help you stitch your love and love your stitches. See you again soon.